All right, then, my friends. So in this challenge, what I'd like you to do is to create a flashcard which spins around or rotates around when you click on it. So you can see right here, we have this card with some text on, get 50% off NetNinja Pro. When we click on this, it's going to spin around to show you the back of the card, which has the promo code Ninja Fledgling. When you click on it again, it's going to rotate back around to the front. So this is the kind of effect I'd like you to try and do in this challenge. Now I have prepped and created some starter files for this challenge and you can find them on the coding challenges repo. I will leave this link down below the video to get the starter files, go down to the branch drop down, and you need to scroll right down to challenge eight start. And then right here, you can see we've got three files, the HTML file, JavaScript and CSS. To download these, go to code and then go to download zip. Click on that, it will download a zip folder. Just unzip that and open it up in a text editor. So once you open up those starter files in an editor, they're gonna look something like this. We have the HTML file right here, which is a really, really simple template, just an H1, then a section down here, which is all the stuff we're concerned with. So inside the section tag, we have a div with a class of card. Then inside that, we have a div for the front with a class of front, that's the front of the card content. And then this is the back stuff right here with a class of back. Now, you don't need to change the HTML one bit. This is how it should look at the end, according to my solution. But if you want to change it, that's absolutely fine. There's no one set way of doing this. You just approach this however way you want to, but you don't have to change it. So that's the HTML file. We're linking to a styles.css file and also an index.js file as well. Now there will be a little bit of JavaScript involved just to listen to that click event. And you can put that inside here, empty at the minute. The styles.css file that it's linked up to just has a few basic styles. We load in the Poppins font family and we apply that right here to every element. Strip out the margin and padding of every element. Then for the body, we give a background color of dark gray text aligned to the center, bit of padding and a text color of white. Then the card, which is this thing right here, this div, we say the position is relative. The width is 300 pixels, height is 300 pixels, bit of margin top and bottom, auto left and right, and then text aligned to the center. So at the minute, if we preview this, it's gonna look like this in the browser, not much styling. This is the front of the card, this is the back. But remember, we only wanna show one of those at a time. So have a good go at this. Try and make it so this shows to begin with. Then when you click on the card, it flips around and shows this on the back. Okay. And again, there are multiple ways of doing this. I'm going to be posting my solution very soon.